Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Etsy Table Studio, and I am here today with a video about stencils. Okay, so um, y'all know that I'm I'm a doodler. I mean, it's not evident in anything that I do. I, you know, I just <laughs> so uh, my friends talked me into taking my doodles and turning them, some of them, into stencils. So here are the ones that have already come out on their, in my Etsy shop, and they're all also in um, Carla's Etsy store, What If, like the words What If, NC for North Carolina. So it's W, I'll put it down there anyway. So here's the first one, it's called Flowers 01. This is just miscellaneous flowers that I drew. It makes a, a really nice background to something. And it might be a little difficult to isolate one flower. I mean, if you can, you're better at it than I am. Actually, everybody's better at stenciling than I am. Okay. All right, so that's the first one. The second one is called Border 01. And this one has three different stencils on it. This one was sunflowers, large to small, small to large, however you want to turn around. And then this one was flowers, but they ended up looking like Hawaiian flowers. I don't, that was never the intention, but after I carved them, I mean, after I did them, I was like, ah, oh, well, they do kind of look like Hawaiian flowers. Then um, this is just leaves. I send Carla my, my drawings. I make, I take a picture, send them to her, and then she does her magic. <laughs> and this one's called Heart to Heart. Let me do it this way. It's got black on this side, so it's hard to see. So this side has got white paint on it. And this is just... Oh, the glare is horrible. This is just... <laughs> I'm trying to block the glare. Oh, God. Anyway, so this is just hearts with a circle and... Looks like a bug. You know, these little antenna look like bug antennae. There's that one. And we have another one called Leaves 01. The original was only this big, but Carla said, well, what if we do this? I was like, oh, didn't think of that. This is why you work with another professional. <laughs> Trust them. They do know what they're doing. All right, and this one's called Serenity. There's that one. Oh, that looks good on the black. Okay, there's that one. All right, so uh, what I especially like about, I'm trying to find the a thing to lower the, oh, there it is, to lower the, um, no, nope. I'm trying to find the thing to lower the, the pictures. Why can I never find this? I can find the record button, I can't, I'm like touching everything and I can't find it. Hang on, where is it? There is a button that makes it go up and down, and I just can't remember where it is because it's so long since I made a video. <laughs> okay, well, maybe not. There it is on the front of the camera. Blah, blah. What is so nice about, and I don't know if, even if I bring you down really low, I don't know if you can see it. Come on, focus. Uh, there you go. It says, what if NC stencils. Then it has my artist name, Messy Table Studio. Then there is the stencil name on every one of the stencils. At the very bottom, hmm, at the very bottom of her stencil is all the information you need. And then I just put it in this pocket. And I, uh, these are all six by, whoops, these are all six by six. There you go. So I have five stencils that are out. And those of you who know me, I don't, I'm not a stenciling person. I don't do a lot of stencils, but I like stencils, but I use them in ways that are different than what other people use them. I know you can do um, all kinds of stuff with stencils, not just stenciling with paint or stamps, whatever. You can use them on jelly plates, but of course you can use them on paper, but I use them in other ways. So I'm gonna show you one way I use this. This is the book where I created some of my stencils, and here is, nope, no it is not. 
<laughs> okay, we should have marked it with the bookmark. Well, it's in here. Okay, here's the one that was the flower stencil. That's how the stencil started. And the, these are the two stencils from um, the Borders 01. So what I did with this, well, stuff is just flying off everywhere. So what I did with this one is I took tracing paper and I put it over it and I traced it. Okay, you see it's tracing paper. Traced it, put it on a piece of rubber, and I carved it. So you don't have to just use a stencil for stenciling. You can use a stencil to carve. You just trace it inside the stencil, and then you put that on a, a board or the rubber, and you color in the parts you want to leave solid and do all the tracy stuff, and then you can make yourself a stencil. There's lots of ways to use um, stencils other than just stenciling. All right, so I'm going to show you one that has not come out yet so that you understand what I'm talking about here. Let's see. Let me look in the book over here on the side so I can remember where I put it. Nope. That's not it. Son of a gun. See, this is why you do bookmarks. All right, so here is... the serenity one, and the leaves. This is how the, my leaves started out. I drew them and then colored them in. And for serenity, that's how that got started. Which, if I show you the stencil, you'll be able to see it. She made my uh, stencil a little more even, rounded. Mine is more oblongish, So she fattened her up. And look at it. Looks much better when she did it. <laughs> so there's that. And then you saw the leaves that were leaves on the top, leaves on the bottom. So that's how all this works. All right, then I've got a stencil that has not come out yet that I've drawn, that I carved. I don't know, I think I did it a couple months ago before the COVID thing really got a bit on the crazy side. Is this the one I carved? Oh, took me a couple seconds to find it. All right, so here is one that has not come out yet as a stencil, but this is how it starts. Then I took, again, the tracing paper, traced it on here, then took that and laid it on a piece of rubber and burnished it with one of these onto the rubber so the pencil would stick to it. Then I carved it. So there's the carving, and there's the what will be a stencil. So it, you don't have to use a stencil just for a stencil. And that's how I use mine. I don't just stencil with them. Um, let's see. Let me show you one more. Okay, I had to do some digging. <laughs> um, I did this a while ago. This is the leaves. That are turned. This is the leaves of one. So what I did is I took the stencil and I put it on some metal. I think it's that the copper stuff that you get at the copper tape that you can get at Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, 84 Lumber. I don't know all those kind of places. So I took it and I traced it and did it on here. I did try to make these more in line here a little bit more. And then I made this with it. Now I can display it where it goes in because this is the indentation and this is the part that sticks up. But you can do a million things with stencils that you, besides just doing them on a jelly plate. And that's the way I use stencils. This was a, um, this was a stencil. So I just laid the stencil over the metal. I think I did it this way. And then just started doing the metal tool in and doing where I wanted the indentations, which made it pop out on this way. So you can use stencils a bazillion different ways, other just on a jelly plate or in a journal. You're only limited by your own imagination.
Okay, so here are the five stencils. Leaves 01, Heart to Heart. The Serenity stencil. The Borders 01. And the Flowers 01. If you're interested in purchasing, this, purchasing the stencils, you can go to my Etsy store, Messy Table Studio. Or you can go to What If MC. You can order it from either one of us. You will get your stencils. Thank you very much for watching. And when I come out with some new stencils, look at that glare. When I come out with some new stencils, I'll come back and I'll do some demonstrations so that you can see how I use my stencils. I think mainly what I'm going to do with them is to carve rubber stamps because I will use the stencil as a rubber stamp more than I will use the actual stencil itself. Doing the stencil as a guide is like the best idea ever so that you don't have to come up with a whole bunch of your own stuff. You can just use the guide from the stencil and then you can make your own rubber carving of it. So if you want to use a stencil, you got it. And if you want to use it as a stamp, you have it that way too. See? Not the neatest thing I ever made. <laughs> and then, because you know you stamp it this way, it's opposite. So here's the, here's the stamping and that's what it looks like stamped. Okay. All right. So I will see you guys in the next video about stencils. Bye, everybody.